In this report, I talk about why the American dream retired overseas. A few years ago, I read a study published in Pew Research that a majority of older women, 71%, say they aren't looking to date right now, compared with 42% of men 40 and older. So the overwhelming majority of women over 40 have exited the dating pool. If that research is accurate, over 70% of the women over 40 in the U.S. have given up dating, while well more than half of the single men over 40 are still out hunting for love. When the single women over 40 were asked why, they shared that the men were missing one or more qualities they were looking for. That means for singles over 40, way more men are unwilling to give up hope for love. Both men and women are having a hard time finding someone willing to date them who meets their minimum standards. One of the reasons given is ageism. 38% say they wouldn't consider being with someone who is 10 years older, nor would they be willing to date someone with children from another relationship. Other reasons people give for disqualifying people in the dating pool include political differences, educational differences, and lack of financial resources. And the majority of daters across divides by gender, age, race, ethnicity, education, sexual orientation, and marital status history say their dating life is not going very well. In fact, about half of all adults say dating is harder today for most people compared with 10 years ago. That's all in the Pew Research Report. Is it smarter to give up hope or should you keep looking for love? Imagine you're one of those people who are having a hard time finding someone you are attracted to and years seem to be passing you by in the blink of an eye, but you really want someone special to share your life with and you're not ready to give up on sex yet. Maybe you even have a great life and overall you're happy. You have friends you do things with, you spend time on holidays and special occasions with people you care about, and you even have hobbies and routines that keep you busy. Should that be enough to sustain you? You may even travel to see new places, but you still wonder what it would be like to have that special someone in your life that, that you could turn to when you notice a beautiful sunset or when you taste a new delicious food for the first time. You'd like to share simple things with someone you love. Maybe you have even been searching for love in your home country, but you haven't been able to find that someone special. Maybe you're not one of the lucky few that is photogenic. Maybe you don't have the fancy car, education, or financial portfolio that will help you win a lover in your home country. Or maybe you have some of those things and it's attracting the wrong people. Maybe you've already given up hope. What if one day you're scrolling through YouTube videos and you notice a video with an older foreigner on a white sand beach lined with palm trees, gently swaying in the wind with a beautiful young local? If you're from a Western country where ageism is rampant, your initial assumption might be that this older foreigner is rich. That beautiful young local is only there for the money. Maybe you're right but you keep seeing multiple different old foreigners with beautiful young locals that, are, that say they are living this amazing life on budgets that are nowhere near rich. So you start to wonder, maybe normal people are able to love more easily overseas. What if you found out that the older foreigner you're watching with that young beautiful local is not that kind of rich? You need to date someone like that in your home country. What if that foreigner was just another normal person before they left their home country? Maybe those foreigners are just able to live a new kind of normal because they moved overseas. Maybe there really is an alternative universe overseas that you can't fully contemplate from where you were sitting. What if you found out these old foreigners were so normal in their home country that they couldn't even afford to retire in their home country? What if you found out they moved overseas because they could afford to pay the rent and could afford to take that beautiful local 
out for a nice meal a few times per week? What if you found out the foreigner was living this beautiful life in this beautiful place on a lower budget than you can afford to survive on in your home country? What if you found out that this foreigner was living a better life on less money? What if you watched more videos about that foreigner in the beautiful local and you learned they were shopping in open air markets, eating foods in local markets that you've never tasted before, and they were hiking around in beautiful mountains with waterfalls you may never get to see? What if that foreigner was leaving f- footprints as he walks so you could follow? What if the videos showed where they ate and what it cost? What if the videos and reports showed where he stays and how to live your new normal life in this beautiful place? What if those reports showed you places to visit, local transportation to ride, instead of expensive cars, repairs, and auto insurance? What if the report showed you how to travel between beautiful places all over the world on buses, trains, and airplanes, and your own two feet? What if the videos convinced you that this foreigner wasn't really that special and his life was really available to other normal people like him or normal people like you? What if you found out that he was able to retire years earlier in life because he was willing to live this simple life in these magic places? Would you still work until 65 or 70? Or would you start your retirement adventure much sooner? Would you work 10 more years to have a big house in your home country? Would you work 10 more years in your home country to have a bigger garage with more parking spaces and more fancy cars? Or would you sell off all those possessions and leave your worries behind 10 years earlier than expected and start writing your autobiography in real time as you live this adventurous new life in real time. Maybe it's time for a new dream. Should you put your toes in these white sand beaches a decade earlier when you have more energy and life left in you? Do you really need five extra rooms in your house? Or should you put five extra countries in your passport? Something tells me you know these are not trivial questions. These questions live at the heart of the meaning you choose to give your life. How you choose to spend the last few decades you have on this beautiful earth is really the final question for your life. This this life isn't all rose petals and puppies. In fact, some days are downright tough. Adventures overseas are not for everyone. And no matter where you are in the world, you'll have to work hard for whatever you go after in life. But when is enough enough? When does your me time start? Pick carefully what you go after in your remaining years. But don't give up just because you are normal. We can try to kid ourselves, but we are all just normal. But the beauty about life is that normal people do extraordinary things every single day of the year. You may not have enough money to fly away yet. I sure didn't. I busted my ass for three years straight getting my business off the ground. But now I'm a free man. A normal man, yes, but a normal man that was willing to do extraordinary things. If you have enough money to walk away and live this dream now, I have my Retire Overseas course that will help you live this life. If you don't have enough money to walk away yet, check out my Hobby Income course. I did what I teach in that course to pay for this dream life I live now. Or grab a free copy of my ebook, How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 17 Years. If you'd like to learn how to eat the world instead of being eaten by the world, watch the video in the upper right hand corner of your screen right now. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.